show is If You Know, You Know. And we are with a legend in the fashion world, as they say now, legendary. Kenneth Cole is here, and he is showing off his new collaboration with Sesame Workshop, the global impact nonprofit organization behind Sesame Street, supporting the mental health and emotional well-being of young children and families. And you, the Tam fam at home and in the audience, are getting a first look at the shoe collaboration. Listen. <laughs> I've got Elmo, I've got the Count here, and of course, nothing is good in life if you don't have cookie. There you go. Uh, you were here last June, and you said something so beautiful, Kenneth, to our up-and-coming fashion design series folks. You said, you've got to reinvent yourself all the time, and you're only as good as you are relevant. Yeah, I mean, but that, that... Yes, give it up. But that's what's so great about the fashion business, and that's... What, um, it's also why I, I, I find a way to connect with people emotionally however I can, mm -hmm. because those relationships so, are so much more meaningful and they survive hem lengths and heel heights yeah. and other trends that tend to drive our business, which also make you a little nuts, but um, they're so hard. And, but, I, uh, but this has been a great relationship and, it, and, and the, it's, it's, we're creating product for all kids my age <laughs> and, young, and younger. And, um, but, and I think everybody kind of, this is kind of a yeah. cultural phenomenon. Well, it, this is, it's streetwear inspired, which I love. Elmo, I can't, when I tell you, I just get happy looking at Elmo. He's the cutest thing. And you have a number of looks. We actually have some models so that we can see more. This is a daytime TV debut of the collection of the shoes. We also have some of the other looks. Heron, Chase, and Catherine, come on out. Let's see. <laughs> First up, Heron, take us to the looks, Kenneth. Look, these are, these are ex expressions from your favorite loved ones. Um, so you that, have that the, you count with, the count saying, your feelings say, always count. count. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch, it's okay to feel grouchy. That's how I felt this morning. Oh, ooh, share cookies, share kindness. My son needs that one. Share, share cookies, cookies, share, share kindness. kindness. These are all sweet, powerful messages. How does it feel? Because obviously we know Sesame is an institution. It shapes the culture. I think there's not a person in here who has not seen an episode of Sesame. <laughs> so you have these two iconic things together. How does that feel? But you know, if we could teach and, in and encourage young people to find their voice and to, it, it's okay to have emotions, good and bad, yeah. as you were saying earlier, and then I think we've done a great service and, and ultimately, they'll maybe grow up better than we are, yeah. and um, which is maybe what this does in some I ways. I love that. Okay, so we have this thing going on as I tease. Thank you so much. You look great. I love all those sweatshirts. Fantastic. Um, I talked about the last time when I felt that I'd made it in life. I, I was in Cherry Hill Mall in Cherry Hill, New Jersey in the 90s, and I bought my first pair of Kenneth Cole shoes. I will never forget you it. You were the one. I was the one. <laughs> this was in the 90s, and I remember like walking out of that mall, like, you know, you put my old shoes in the box so I could wear my new <laughs> shoes out. I remember that. So someone in our audience right now will experience what it feels like to walk around with some shoes with the name Kenneth Cole inside. The best part is I had to pay for mine. You get yours for free right now. So we have the fishbowl here. Okay, you and since get... everybody wants to be in okay. Cameron's shoes. Oh, gosh, no. Listen, here we go. I'm going to swirl this around. Uh-oh. Look, swirl it around some more. Okay, now don't, it's okay to feel grouchy if you don't win, okay? <laughs> All right, good. All right, okay. Oh gosh, these nails are unre- She does it so well. Pamela Rick Quinn. <laughs> oh, <hey! laughs> well, first of all, Pamela, there's a pre this is a live show when you win something on the Tamron Hall show. Let's try this again, sit back down, sit back down. <laughs> from Kenneth's Sesame Street collaboration. Congratulations, my dear. <laughs> Kenneth, thank you so much for everything you do. And I know that you're looking for ways for companies to sign up to join really what you're doing. Yeah, so if you go to 
the Mental Health Coalition, uh, mentalhealthcoalition.org website, you can sign up and, and, and your organization will have access to all these extraordinary resources. It. And it, it, interesting is the business case for mental health is, it, is, is extraordinary. The, the emotional case fails almost every time. The yeah. business one doesn't because there's a real return, return and it improves, if you make resources available to your associates, it improves um, productivity, improves morale, it improves uh, Companies have to invest in the people who work there. That's the bottom line. Because you can't keep the lights on without the people in the building. I appreciate you so much and everything that you do. You're my favorite. I love you so much. Thank you to Kim. And by the way, the collaboration with Sesame Workshop is available.